Hello. Just having a sit outside uh, right at the edge of the driveway. Right where the driveway goes from gravel to paves, right where the lawn goes from lawn to gravel, and back to lawn. Right where the complete lawn is next to the cone filled incomplete lawn. Right next to the complete pergola. Uh, and uh, not far from the incomplete pergola. And uh, I was just walking out to the barn with a cup of tea, which is over here by my knee. And uh, just thought I'd have a sit here in the leaves and enjoy a cup of tea. Which itself was uh, dried leaves. Transitioned from green living leaves to dried leaves. Now transitioned to wet leaves and tea. <coughs> so I was uh, on my way out to do an errand. And then, uh, then I realized I'm going to have a meditation on the way. And so now I'm grabbing at this transitioned weed to make a little dry pod of sorts. Let's see how we do. As usual, hopefully I don't press the off button while I'm doing it. That kind of works. So then I just sit here in the leaves and consider contemplate transitions. A pretty simple meditation to do for that too. I think we'll get to that in a minute, but for the moment, I just want to let my brain engage and entertain, enumerate the notion of transition. If if there's nothing that remains the same. Nothing inviolate, nothing permanent. And it doesn't really just mean that everything will change. It may mean that everything is changing. Everything's in transition all the time. And we may not notice the transition until there's an obvious tipping point. If you park your vehicle <clears throat> and step out and head where you're headed, and on occasion, I guess this happens to people, it's left in neutral, or the parking brakes off or something, and it starts rolling down the hill. You, know, you think you've completed this transition from moving to stopping, and you have. <laughs> and maybe as you walk off you know, into the restaurant, into your home, into your friend's arms, uh, the car transitions from <laughs> stop to moving. And of course you may not notice that. It may just roll, you know, the engine's off. It may roll quietly. And that transition doesn't get noticed until it reaches a p tipping point. Somebody yells, it crashes into something. I don't know, it catches fire or something. Then, you know, uh, your attention is arrested and redirected. And so maybe it's possible that while all things change, actually all things are changing, not simply will or have. So maybe <clears throat> there's a mutability to the mundane. So as I sit here, in the leaves with the, uh, the banana behind me, which probably doesn't much look like banana leaves. Actually, it's kind of framing my head in the view that you have. And uh, the Norway maple here that's transitioned over the course of two and a half days last week, transitioned from burgundy to yellow, or to the yellow tans and on my
sort of Pantone palette here. But let's just uh, meditate together. <clears throat> now that we've entertained and get engaged with and enumerated the, some of the notions of transition. In this meditation, is to focus on the breath. We're not trying to direct the breath. We're not trying to do a good one. We're not trying to breathe a certain way. Just breathing. And if it's um, practiced enough for you and there is a way of breathing that you have that uh, you know you can engage in without it making up the bulk of your intention you can do um, specified and precise breathing that's fine <clears throat> I'm just saying in terms of talking you through this it doesn't matter the breathing so as we sit here at the shores of transition Becoming aware of the breath, not forcing anything. You tend to become aware of the two halves, the two elements that make up respiration, the inhale and the exhale. And so we're going to rest in that awareness for a bit, just through a couple breath cycles. begin to direct our attention to the point of change <clears throat> or the vicinity of change even if we can't precisely put our finger on the instant of change from inhale to exhale I'm going to sort of notice round about where it happens when it happens not the how, not the why not even the where just the where in the circuit that happens, not necessarily the where of the body. So we're going to rest our awareness closer to that point of transition as we continue to breathe in ease. So as we become more aware of the, <clears throat> the fact of the transition, again, somebody yells, the car bumps into something, the car catches fire, and now I'm aware that there had been a transition. There had been a, a shift. You know, the changing before the change is noted. The mutability before the metamorphosis. I want to now try and rest my awareness in the continue, I want to say continuosity, the continuing leanness, ship, full hood, ship. I want to rest my awareness in the continuing expression, the continuing process of change. And this is a little more difficult to do because it's not a point, it's not a big change from peanut butter to jelly to from yours to mine from up to down it's just some points plotted on the path of progress or regress or change so having done the first two awareness restings I'm trying to shift my awareness to notice the continualness of change anywhere along the cycle 
And again, as we've said, there's very little intention regarding my breath itself because I don't want that to be the focus. My focus is really one of Ting Chin, of awareness, of tuning in. Can I rest in a ready awareness of the always changing without waiting for or requiring the gross, the more obvious, the perhaps painful transition? One way to notice this is that the point of transition is the point of name change. So this third part of the breath awareness, our awareness is not resting in any area in which there's a name change. <clears throat> there may be an adjectival change, but those names are really descriptions of qualities, or they're continually named. So continuing to breathe. meditation. <clears throat> so I'll return you to the leaves. Just for fun. We'll put them into a pile and then let you jump into the pile. What's that? Once more? That was head first. Thank you.